No, um, this video is for ACT 38, science section. Okay, science section to save time. Um, again, we don't need uh, passage itself. We'll just like, you know, look at the question directly and then do the question, I mean, the, um, go to like, you know, whatever part of the um, passage that, you know, needs to go. Unless it talks about based on the passage, based on passage, you have to read. Otherwise, you just like, you know, do whatever way you have to do. Um, here, question number one, consider two of the weavers, uh, writers, temporary rename writer A, writer B, writer A, traveled in same direction B throughout 35 second interval. And then initially writer A traveled more slowly than writer B, fell behind, but writer A pedaled faster and faster and then less than 30 seconds caught up and passed writer B, who were writer A and B. So um, in the beginning, writer A was going um, ahead, right? And then just slow down. So, I mean, going same direction and then like, you know, um, so if you look at the figure one, slowing down in the beginning is, um, the dotted line is going slower, right? Because x-axis is time and y-axis is distance. And then it goes like less, I mean, um, the, the, I guess like, you know, fewer meters, so which means it goes less. Because of that, writer A is writer one and writer B is writer two, so it's A. And then um, question number two, based on figure one and two, not begin uh, three, uh, 35 second interval at uh, point P. So writer um, one, two, if you think about from figure one, one and two, 35 um, second, if you see the first one seems like writer two seems like 100, I'll say 130, 40, 140, and then the other one is 100 um, and around 80. Um, yeah, around like 40, 35, 40, like in you know, a meters difference, you see. So you know, one and two is okay. So we, we can eliminate everything with the one and two. So one, F, G, H, so J is the answer. I mean, if you, if you try out with a figure two as well, but then even without that, to save time, you don't need to do. And then number three, based on figure two, how far? Writer four travel between uh, this up to this. So four is like really like you know small dotted line, and then so this one is this, and then zero to fifteen. So it started off with six hundred and then ended a little bit like lower than four hundred. So like traveling is about two hundred something. So coming back to this. It's a, And then based on one, every speed writer two more over 35 second interval, which are the following. So every speed is um, distance time, distance divided by time, right? So distance writer two is solid line, distance 140, let's say 140 divided by 35, which is um, four. And number five, students state that based on figure two, writer five did not travel at, at all between this to this. The student thing is right. So five is this one. And between this, this one right here, oh, between this position here, so that distance wise, it didn't move at all, then it should stay the same. So it should be yes. Because it didn't, uh, okay, the slope is zero. That's why slope means like um, the rate in this case. Move on to next passage, number six, based on figure one. Uh, what happened during the fruit pass stage of gypsy moth life cycle? Uh, Which phone number? Contact or device you want to call? This one. And then 
You have several contacts named as one. Can you please say the name exactly as it shows in your contact list? Excuse me. My Alexa just answered. Alexa, stop. Um, here, um, the figure one and what happens if a uh, stays in gypsy moss cycle. Okay, um, if you think about it like the larvae and then pupae and then adults. Pupae is the plural of pupa, so that adults is um, overlapping with this, so become adult, which is H. Seven students uh, hypothesize that gypsy moth population peak uh, every 10 years. And the hypothesis is correct. Figure two indicates next peak of gypsy moth population most likely. So um, if you see uh, light defoliation, modern defoliation, heavy defoliation. So defoliation is the one that, you know, I mean, if you use common sense, if you think about it, you have more moth, you probably have a defoliation, right? Which is probably like on the passage, if you read through, um, probably it talks about that too, but I don't want to like, you know, go in detail, but like, that's something that you can use common sense, which is 1981 is the most, the peak. So then 10 years later, 1991. And then number eight, based on table one, and then test, but 1981, average percent of defoliation, which of uh, the following tree species, 10 times the average defoliation, yellow poplar tree. Yellow poplar tree is five. So then 10 times is 50. So scarlet oak. On the basis of information provided, so then you can use did the majority of tree species um, listed table one suffer on the average light, modest, a moderate and heavy defoliation in the test of 1981. Majority of, so then I don't think we need to read this. Majority of this is still like 53% is light defoliation. So then Light defoliation. Really simple question. Number 10, based on figure two, what year did exact, exactly 80 plots show? So, year two, 80 plots show. So we don't know how many plots that we have, so we have to go up and then try to find how many plots that we have. It says 1,000 test plots, right? So, 1,000. 80 plot, which means 8%. So you have to find something with 8% is right here, 1980. So F. Move on to the next question. So this one, um, contra uh, I mean, contrasting viewpoint. So then you have to understand what's going on. And then you have to also understand um, difference between student one, two, and three, four. Okay. So you have to read first in this case. And I usually recommend that you have to um, skip this one and then do other passages first and then come back to it later on because it takes longest time. So um, I just for the sake of um, reviewing this um, questions, I'm gonna just do it right now. I'm not gonna skip this. Math and um, uh, um, has been detected recently Mars atmosphere average of generation 10 parts per billion above localized um, area near Mars equatorial region higher CH4 concentration up to this this Mars atmosphere intense UV radiation promote reaction CH4 with OH form O2 and H2. Oh, however, Mars skin is most or mean O2 scars. So, so O2 is recently detects more inside the atmosphere over the past 340 years. For students, possible source of CH4, Mars atmosphere. Okay, CH4 generate hydrothermal process operates short distance beneath this. 
thermal process. So, all salts, non surfing. You put into Mars and by comets, and then friction, heat. The large deposits, deposits of material known metal hydrate, especially on Mars. Molecules inside of age water, and then produce due to activity of anaerobic bacteria. So this number uh, number eleven CH four produced and process occur beneath Mars surface beneath. So student one says hydrothermal process obtained short distance beneath pen surface. So one is okay. That's why D we can eliminate. Two it says comet and then friction heat and then enter the atmosphere heat release the gas Mars atmosphere. So two doesn't make sense. Right, because it's an outside only. And then three, um, it's a deposit, and then heat is slightly increasing. Yeah, it says like you know, um, it is um, the the beneath Mars right here, the second line. And then four, also bacteria itself is basically living underneath. So even though the passage doesn't say about beneath outside bacteria also. So large large deposit of met methyl hydrate. Methyl hydrate is um student three, right? Beneath the ocean floor there is student three's model, major earthquake, one of those locations and most likely cause. So that you know, I mean, the whole idea of this meth methyl um, hydrate is um, that is the one that you know brings CH4 molecules later on, right? That's what the third line you can see. So CH4 obviously is the one you know has to come. But that's the one that you know it makes like CO2 and H2O. And 30, uh, 13 student four would most likely agree with statement that aerobic uh, bacteria on earth can produce um this is also obvious one ch4 because that's what co2 and h2o we can make so it says unlikely that's wrong so the so 14 suppose is discovered that fluid have temperature high enough alter rock have not been present on or beneath mars surface in time during the 10,000 Years discovery would have strongly contradict contradict. So something that you know we can see from um, this one is that the rock is only you can see from um, first uh, student one. It says second line hot fluid circulate through basalt, the igne igneous rock, and alter it to produce mineral known serpentine. So that's the only part that you know uh, we see uh, related to rock itself. So that's why it's student one. Not being presented, that's wrong. So the opposite to this is, um, yeah, it is like an alter changes. And 15, um, student two's model correct CH4 from Comet or uniformly. Uh, distributed throughout Mars atmosphere is actually distributed to HC4 in Mars atmosphere as described in the introduction consists with this distribution. Um, uh, soon too, if you go friction heat comet enter atmosphere, this is this heat vaporized the frozen materials releases to other gas into Mars uh, atmosphere. So it didn't really like say much about uniformly distributed. It's just like they're making friction and then like comes and frozen, like whatever happened. So I'll say no because um but just like you know wherever you can find it. And then um between C and D, e, uniform as well. That's why it's C. and 16. Process describes student one example which you're following. Um, student one is talking about how it changes, right? Because 
uh, mineral, I mean, the rock into mineral, so serpentine. So changes means metamorphosis, morphism. Meta means like trans, and morph means form, so transform. Third, the 17, consider provide average concentration CH4, Mars, if Mars and Mercury have volume of 10 billion liters, how many liters CH4 would present in Mars and Mercury? So we have to find some sort of idea that, you know, percentage of um, um, whatever that we see. So it says uh, the first line, first, a uh, second line says concentration of 10 parts per billion. So if you have billion, 10, then it's a 10 billion, 100, so A. Next passage, same thing, we just straight to the question, according to the result of experiment three, green food coloring following exposure time was absorbance measured at 427 mil nanometer, closest to the absorbance measure 603. So when it crosses right here, which is three minutes, so it's G. 19, a student claimed that solution of blue food coloring absorbs, absorbs light more strongly at 603 nano than 420. It was claim consists of result of experiment one or zero. So if you look at the experiment one, the figure one, zero, which is 603 is higher, way higher, the blue food coloring, right? So way higher, 2.0, it's like almost like 0 0.05, 0 0.05. That's why it's, um, yes, so higher, so B. 20, which of the following graphs best represents the results of experiment one through three for 427 and exposure time four minutes. So 423, uh, blue, uh, four minutes, four minute is like 0 0.05, 0 0.05, so like here, really, really small, tiny, just yellow. The blue one. As soon as you see the blue, you don't need to check yellow, green. It's like so obvious. Right? So if you want to check, it's going to be G2. 21, which of the following statement about green food coloring is best support, supported by the result of, of this one? Green food coloring is. Green food coloring is, you have to look at figure one and figure two and then figure three. So if you think about green, Green is um, blue plus yellow, basically. And then if you see um, the result, which means 603, um, the first one is 2.0, I mean, at the zero. And then the, exp at the, the, the figure two is almost like you know, zero. So it's average out a little bit less than 1.5. It makes sense with this one too. And then for 427 is the exact same result. So it is like, you know, average of these two. So mixture of these two, which is B. 22, consider result of uh, experiment one, 603, compared to concentration blue coloring in the solution. Exposure time is two minutes. Concentration blue food coloring, exposure time 12. So 603, uh, we're comparing two minute to 12. Two minute is around 1.5. And then 12 is almost nothing. So, uh, yeah, F, way lower. And then 23, 423, violet color, light. 603 is orange color, which are the following conclusion about solution color, light color and absorbance is best support by the result of experiment one and two blues. Blue solution tend to absorb violet color. Um, so it says um, four, four, 425 is violet. 
So blue violet is really, really low, right? So that's why um, blue color, a uh, blue um, absorb solution, less absorbed violet color. And then um, 603 is the orange and then it absorbs a lot because of that. Um, and also we have to check um, yellow solution as well, yellow solution. Violet, yes, um, a lot. And then orange, no. So if you combine together, it's gonna be D. Okay, move on to next passage. Um, question 24, according to result of one, uh, D increase theta. So one, D increase. D increase here, theta decrease only, so H. So 25 amount of charge the students initially, initially placed on sphere A using charging probe was the same for all the trials in which of the studies. So initially sphere A using the charge probe was the same. Okay, so the charge that we can find in study one is minus 7.5, and then B is also minus 7.5, and then 3 is also minus 7.5, so all same, which is D. Suppose that study three additional trial had been performed, sphere A mounted send one uh, I and sphere uh, one and H sphere radius is 0.7. Mounting is steady, uh, stand two. The result is 33 theta trial most likely have been. Okay, so um, sphere A mount is stand one. Sphere A is and one, and then uh, what else? Square radius, radius. It says radius, right, in the question out oh, here. Square. Radius is 0 0.7, which means D, diameter is 1.4. So we have to find 1.4. So D is, in this case is, okay, let's, let's check more. Radius is, stand two based on delta three data. So we have to think about oh 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 because it says that you know d um, is the distance I didn't see that part your d sending your apart stand place negative okay and then the question is talking about sphere A mount stand one. Stand one is sphere A. Stand two is Okay, so I mean, this is a really simple question. I just like couldn't find the evidence right away, but then it looks like a really simple question once once I figure it now. Because it says to study three, I didn't really pay attention to study three. So if you go to study three, radius is given here, which is 0.7 is between this two, between this two right here. That's why the answer has to be eight and 10, eight and 11. Um, and then 27, suppose to any of trials, study one and two, student placed a positive charge on sphere P 
positive charge times square root of e. So everything right now is negatively charged as we see like you know, from each one of them, right? Minus 0.7.5, so positively charged. And then it actually like sticks together because the opposite charges attract each other. Let's see. 28 student study two present which is the following graphs. Student study two. So X is QB and then Y is um, uh, the data. Then as X, X value getting greater, Y value decrease. Uh, decrease. So which is G? 29 during the given trials, two charged um, sphere move apart, potential energy stored in the vertical steel wire. Um, the vertical steel right wire, if you see here, um, this rod gonna like, you know, touch this uh, wire and then twist it around. So because of that, the potential energy will increase because it's gonna like slow it down. Right? Slow down means potential energy goes up, kinetic energy goes down. So A. Right. And then move on to next um, 30. As alter alternative PRR increase from 25 to 175, PRR we see from here, uh, 25, then we see around like five, and 175 is around three. So it's, uh, but then it goes up and down like this. Up and down, right? So because of that, increase and decrease H. Suppose an additional trial, each gravit log and PPRR and alternative PRR 140 and percent of log would have moved within 2.5. Uh, so, okay, closely, what's your problem? So if you go 140 is around like here. So if you go up, that's around like 20 some percent, which is 22 percent. So we move on to the next one. It says by marking the male frog frogs as part of procedure for obtaining 60 recordings, which are the following outcome was researchers trying to avoid. Um, so this is like something that you have to think about common sense, like obtaining 60 recordings. Why they have to do? You have to like, you know, get rid of outliers. So general average pattern that you, you try to find. So that's why uh, uh, H, 33, do the results of experiments support the researcher's hypothesis? The researcher's hypothesis is, uh, where to find that first? Uh, so probably like, you know, here, reproduction fitness of um, the male is depend dependent on characteristic of advertisement call. So, um, so if you think about it, um, the, see. Yeah. the mean PRR from the figure two, you see mean PRR is the peak, which is 100 is the peak. So if you have, yeah, so it's like probably like greater percent of frog uh, attract to the other the fold. And yes, it is true. So it's a, and 34, which is the following statement best describes the gravity frog studied in experiment. So this is also something that you need to understand, like the passage itself. Because right now, the, the 
whatever that you know they're talking about is uh, greater person and female with a tract called the population of the tract called the tract. Yeah, so um, probably you have to, I mean, the the whole like in the passage you're talking about all the male frogs, right? So then um, whatever thing that we have to think about here is how, um, I mean, the, the female frogs, they're ready to get, you know, I guess like, you know, um, I mean, how can I say, how can I explain this? Um, oh, right here. Uh, okay, I got it here. Um, the second, a uh, third paragraph um, here, carrying unfertilized eggs. So, which is, you know, H35, the start of each trial experiment, where the frog are most likely placed. Um, it says something about speaker. It says here, the frog was monitored until it moved to within 25 centimeter of speaker and then move from the area. So, um, so the, in the beginning, um, it doesn't really like, I mean, 2.5 is the, after they move to 2.5. So A, B, we can eliminate, it has to be between C and D. Uh, and then we could find some other thing. Okay, it's going to be, I guess, um, in the middle. We have to place in the middle so that that's, that's like you know, fair enough, I'll say. So the middle means like since everything uh, is a 1.8 um, apart, so then the middle has to be 0.9 apart, so which is that's more reasonable. Okay, move on to the next one. 36, uh, based on figure one, table two, following structure to idopropionic acid. So figure one and then table two. Table two. Uh, so Something that we need to understand here is um, IO, two IO propionic acid is this CH3 CIH, like whatever here you can see. And then from figure, it says table, figure one and table two, figure one, okay. If you see figure one, uh, this is the one that we, have to see, we can see, right? So then same thing with this one is J. And 37 based on figure one and table two. Huh, it's just given in a way with uh, this, the other one. This is only BR. So we switch it off with that, you know, BR. Then probably that's like, you know, um, so instead of X, we're putting the R. So instead of 
x, which is in this, in this case h. So in this, uh, okay, and then probably this one, okay. So which is a, and then 38 structure of this one. So same thing. Um, I instead of ER, they put in I. And then J39 according to table two. One M aqua aqueous solutions, which CA acetic acid and propinoic acid is more acidic at 25 degrees Celsius. So it says, um, acetic acid is here, 2.38. And then another one is propionic acid is 2.44. And then we go here, this question. Yeah, acetic acid is more because it's lower. So yeah, lower number means acetic and then higher number is basic. And 40, F is most electronegative all elements based on table one and two pH of 1.5 solution of ones. I said was most likely <clears throat> most electronegative is the key. So EN is the electronegative, most electronegative is chlorine. Chlorine is most electric electronegative. So chlorine is 1.44 and then so iodine is just like the normal thing. So then between 1.44 and iodine, iodine, ioacidic. So uh, it has to be 1.44 and 159. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it for our science section. I hope that this video helped you to understand how to do um, Again, science section is not really like, you know, science section. It's more about using your common sense and data analysis. And then that's it. I hope you, know, you can get perfect score on science section. Okay, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.